Hey guys and welcome to the Series 27 Spring Trial Vamos a la Playa 2.0 What? Wait, what? Yep, this is the 2.0 and there's a very good reason for this. These are the races and these are the cars. Because I said... <clears throat> normally what I say is like God talking, okay? In this case, God made a mistake. It happens. Just look at Trump. Um, now, in this case, God made a mistake in that he said, Oh, I'm going to use the GZ2 for the Romeo and Juliet event that's coming up later on. When... Ooh, yeah. And I noticed this <laughs> two days ago when I did uh, some... Ex very extensive testing on this event and then I actually made an A800 on the HC and I found that it is first of all just as fast as the Maserati it's actually borderline on being faster it isn't but it's very close it's like plus minus a tenth of a second but this one works in the Alpha event as well. And this one is around 80,000 in the auction house. And the T set 2 was, what was it, 1.4 million? Now, would the T set 2 be able to do the Alpha Romeo event faster? Yep, it will. So I can still use the T-Z2? Yep, you can. But you can use this. And that's sort of the point, that you could buy this car. Oh my god, one, two, three idiot, four idiots, and a maybe idiot. If that's an untuned Maserati, he's an idiot. With the four Bentley boys, there are morons. Uh, no, it's actually tuned, but it's not my tune, so he's an idiot. And the four Bentley boys are complete morons, all of them. Seriously, a Prestige 3 bringing an untuned Bentley into the trial. Wow, that's got to be some kind of record. Uh, Unless those two tuned Bentleys are running with manual gears and God knows what else, then maybe. But I seriously doubt it. Why would you bring a Bentley into this? Ah. So, anyway, that's why I'm doing the Trial V2.0, to show that it will do both events. Yeah. Come on, for fuck's sake. Thank you. No. Well, a guy who dresses like that, you can't expect... Where did he go? Anyway, a guy who dresses like that, you can't expect him to know how to tune a car. I'm not saying I'm the snappy dresser in any way, shape, or form. But that, that was just, I mean, my eyes.
Oh, I guess the skirt got caught in the gear lever or something, because he suddenly dropped way back. Maybe he quit. We're still winning. Whoa, I got that corner wrong. Top tip, this corner down here across the bridge, break and then turn because there's a snag between the wall and the bridge and if you hit it, you will stand still, which kind of sucks if you're leading the race and everything. No, the mango... The, Demure Mango 141. Who comes up with these names? He didn't quit. It was just his skirt that got caught in the gear lever. It happens. I guess. No, I don't. I'm not talking from personal experience. Uh, I'm just guessing. Or maybe he got confused by staring at the glitter on it. I don't know. The only one that's the least bit competitive seems to be the lowest level guy in here. That's kind of brilliant, actually. At least he's trying. No, that wasn't dive bombing. I was keeping my fucking line. Shut up, morons. Get out of the way, stupid Bentley. Whoa, use the force much. No, no, no. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> Fix the fucking AI, you blithering idiots. No, oh, but it, it's caused by lag. How? I would send a letter of complaint, but no, 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 I've been banned. True story. I have been banned from support. Apparently, you're not allowed to ask questions and, you know, uh, have an argument that they can't disprove. Um, and then demand a, new, a, rep, a proper reply? You're not allowed to do that. Also point out the massive flaws in their ban system. 
Not allowed to do that either. So in a way, Charlie Crow got me banned. Bad Charlie. Now, if I actually care about being banned, I would raise hell, I would uh, shout at Charlie because it's all his fault. It's absolutely not my fault, not my doing. Uh, it's his band that got me arguing with them, so it can't be my fault. Of course he's responsible for my actions. <laughs> um, and then I bar him from the club. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Well, no. No, I really wouldn't. Um, but I, I would like to know seriously if I'm banned because it's kind of a strange way. I can go to the support page, but when I sign in, it asks for my credentials. I give them. And then I'm booted to the main Forza page, not the support page. And I'm automatically signed out as well. So I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm banned. Very much so. And it seems that other people have no problem logging in. So, must be me. I tried two different computers and four different browsers, same result, so I'm guessing it's me. Which is nice. But Charlie, if you're watching this, it's all your fault. So, I guess you, I don't know, you should feel bad or something. <laughs> Anyway, back to racing. Move that goddamn cursor off the screen. Yes, of course the AI Bentley has way better braking ability and way better grip than I do because, well, it's a Bentley and it only weighs 2.3 tons. Uh, I think that was a brake check that went horribly wrong. <laughs> Oh dear, skirt got caught in the gear lever again. Or maybe a tampon slipped out. Off his handbag, Jesus, get your mind out of the gutter. Aish. Yay. 
Batch, Batch, Batman. <clears throat> Grim Repair Power. What? Gotta wonder. And it's another win. Yay. Wait. Where did the, uh... Oh, well. Come on. Hooray! So, the car I used was the 2007 Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. And the tune I was using was this one. There you go. Uh, please, if you use one of my tunes, please remember to like it. And the same goes for the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget the Patreon link below. And that's it, really. Thanks for watching. Bye.